as you guys can see from the title today, we're doing our update of Zega Panic Project Pan. My apologies for wearing the same outfit as Wednesday's video, but you guys, we are creeping into the June territory and I've mentioned it a million times. I am super busy. Like this week, no joke, I am running around with my head cut off because there's a lot going on as far as sports. We have two out of three kids in sports now, plus we're prepping for meetings for like summer volunteer work that we're doing. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm trying to squeeze in as much film time as I possibly can. So you guys don't feel like I am MIA, even though technically I am MIA because I'm running around like a crazy person. But anyway, you're here for Dega Panning. Anything you need to know about this uh, project pan will be down in the description box. Creator, rules, how it works, playlists, so on and so forth, you guys. I have my six products, because if you guys followed me last month, I got the plus one. <laughs> so I haven't looked at this month. I have no clue what it's uh, looking like, but I'm excited. So let's get started. But first, if you're new, welcome. Alejandra, I go by Alex, eyeshadow enthusiast with the Dash Project Pan. That is something you want to continue to see on your feed. Subscribe and join us. And now let's get on with this update. Okay, you guys, this month was a little bit interesting. Just a little bit interesting, you guys. Um, I'll explain to you guys when we get there. So let's start out with the first one. The oldest product I've had in here was a Red Queen and that was for Project Graveyard. And for that, I rolled in my KVD Immortal Brown Liner. My goal was to get in between the name, the word pencil and crayon. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have done it. I'll show you guys a close up of it but I did it, you guys, I did it. I'm not done with this pencil, but I got there. It took me about two months to get there. I love this pencil, you guys know I'm a fan. <laughs> they don't make them anymore, but this color also I really have enjoyed. It's not a black, it's a really nice chocolatey brown. Um, it stands out on its own, it's just such a beautiful shade. So I'm gonna roll this out because I did meet my goal on this one. The product is not done, but the goal has been met. The second oldest product was um, for this prompt, the Eight of Clubs, and I got the brand you own one of, and that was the Ilia Lip Mask. In the last update, I had hip pan and I was working my way around the edges, and you guys, I have finished this completely. This was such a beautiful lip mask. Loved it to the end. I grabbed every bit I possibly could. Such a nice formula, really, really enjoyed it. My goal was to finish it off and I have done that so I can also roll this out. Up next was, I rolled this in, this was the Seven of Clubs, the most recent purchase and at the time it was this, the Natasha Denona Jubilee Palette or Quint. This was such a beautiful palette, you guys. My goal was to use this 10 times. It was so easy to use it 10 times. I can say I used every single shadow in this palette, not together, but I did end up using it in many looks. This blue shade is beautiful for the outer V and it can be sheared out really nicely. This blue right here, gorgeous. This yellow I used quite a bit of times, pink I used a few times, and this one was my most used one, obviously, because it was the easiest one to reach for. But I was able to get quite a few looks out of it, mixing it in with my pan, those eyeshadows, mixing it in with other eyeshadows that I have in other different project pans. But it was really nice. I really liked it. I do. And I feel like this is a nice spring palette. So I met my goal by using it 10 different times. Seven of Hearts. This was the astrology sign. I got a pigment from ColourPop, this is called the Twins. If you saw my Wednesday's update, I had mentioned that there was a pigment there that I was mixing in with this pigment and I was able to meet my goal of 10 uses. How I ended up using this pigment was mixing it in with that pigment, but I mean, I mixed both of the shades together and I put it on my lower lash line and it just was the best color ever for my lower lash line. It, it was enough color to stand out but not too vibrant where you're like, oh, you can definitely tell you're wearing a different color in your lower lash line. And it caught the light in such a beautiful way that it made my lower lash line stand out but not too much. Such a beautiful pigment. I will never go through this because the amount that I had to use to put on my lower lash line, it was ridiculously small, but I was able to use it 10 times and it was rather easy to use 10 times. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized something. Wow, wow, okay. So black, 
Jack was a random color generator and that was a dark brown shade. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. I rolled in the U, uh, UD, <laughs> Urban Decay Diamond Dog, which was this shadow right here. My goal was to use this 10 times, you guys. I ended up using it with this because it either helped a lot out with this yellow, because this yellow can be really in your face, and it helped with this one too to make it more cool tone. So I mixed both of these in with this one here and there. I put this on my lower lash line. I put this on top of other shades that I was using in my pan, those eyeshadows, as well as my whole collection project pan. And I was able to meet my goal, my 10 uses on this one. These are really easy to use. I have no problem using these because they're a sheer topper, a glitter topper. So I put them on whatever it is that I had on my eyes and it worked perfectly fine. If I had a bright shade and I mixed it in with this, it kind of like settled it down a little bit. And even though it looks dark, the color isn't, it's not there. If It's a soft and a wash of color, not necessarily a full on pigment. So it worked out great. And I ended up using this one, my 10 uses. I didn't realize this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Last product was the sixth product, which was the plus one that I got last month. That was the Red Queen, and that was a Project Graveyard. And I rolled in my Urban Decay bronzer. My goal was to finish this off. I'm gonna share with you guys where I was before. <laughs> And I was using the crap out of this. I actually saw usage. The rings were showing more. It was getting thin. I was like, yes, I'm getting there. This is gonna take me about two, three months to finish off. I'm good to go. Then I bring this downstairs with a bunch of my products to take photos for Instagram. Obviously, Mr. Leo loves to be around mom. And he was right there as I was on the floor. Didn't realize he was there. I picked it up. I went to turn around. He's literally pivoting with me and I trip over him. I dropped the bronzer and I broke it. You guys can see there. I broke the bronzer, you guys. I was very upset. Obviously because I have a dog and he lives downstairs, I did not want to repress it with dog hair even though I do clean my floor often. Today I just mopped again. But you know, it's still, he still goes out and in of the house and his paws are dirty from the dirt and I just don't feel comfortable repressing it, knowing that that's where he lives and that's where he's always all the time. So unfortunately I didn't get to finish it, but I will say I did thin out the product and I was showing more ring around it. So I will still call this as an empty because the majority, more than 50% of the product was used. It wasn't like I broke it brand new or just barely hitting pan. I had a decent sized pan and I had worked on it for a while before it broke. So I, I'm sad to say I didn't fully finish it off, but I would say like about 15% of the product did not get fully used. And I still feel like that's a win for me. My goal was to finish it off in this project pan. It got finished in the worst way that I could finish it, but it still is done. So I'm also rolling this out by default, unfortunately. So I'm sad to see it go because I really like that bronzer, but at least I got a compact out of it. So I'm just gonna clean this off. I didn't clean it off so you guys can see. You can clearly see I was using the sucker. So it sucks that it had to go that way, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, seriously, my like I said, my brain has been everywhere. I did not realize I met every goal in this project pan. Like I mentioned in Wednesday's video, because my pan, those eyeshadows for last month were so easy for me to meet goals on and use, and they were so easy colors to mix with all of my Project Pan eyeshadow products. I met so many goals this month, so many goals, just because they were rather easy. I don't know if I will be able to do that again, especially since we're heading into the territory of summer. I may not, but we'll see, we'll see. So that means I'm rolling in five new cards. I had six products, but that was because of the plus one. I used that up. So I'm scared because I might end up with six products yet again. Let me bring up the... Um, here we go, Woo! here we go again with the kid pet choice and I'm by myself again here. SPF, nice, okay. A veto, let's get the veto. Okay, so I am going to go ahead, oh my goodness, all these cards are getting stuck in here. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle my cards. Spotlight a panner. Oh my goodness, I just realized this, the, this is an actual dress I'm wearing because it, it's so hot today. It's supposed to be 80, what? We never get that kind of weather. Um, so I didn't realize my shirt. Um, shirt, shirt, shirt. Does it, no, there's no shirt here. Okay. So five products, you guys. Five. <laughs> I'm bound to get the plus one. I'm over the joker. I'm just scared of the plus one. Okay, you guys. So... <laughs> 
Let's do this, shall we? First card, the queen, the red queen. Red queen, Project Graveyard, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. The three of spades, dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Duo Multichrome, yay! I wanted that one. I stole it really quick and I wasn't sure. Yes, oh, that makes me happy. Okay, up next. The Red King, oldest product. Ooh, I was just thinking about that too. Ah, the Four of Spades, dun, 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 dun. a bronzer. <laughs> Did we not just go through this spiel of how I just messed up one bronzer? <laughs> okay, <laughs> one more product. The Seven of Diamonds, Vito, yes! Vito, yes, <laughs> we are vetoing the bronzer, you guys. We're vetoing the bronzer. Out of here. <laughs> yes. So that means I get to pick one more card, right? Does that how it works? Oh my goodness. I don't know with the veto if I should veto. Dun, 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 dun. Kick a product out and draw in something else. Pull two more cards. Okay, so I'm pulling two more cards. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. All right, I I'm pulled I pulled out the browns. Here we go. Six of diamonds, dethroned. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one because if it's dethroned, I didn't rebuy it. You know what I mean? Last one, the black queen. Represents another project pan. Okay, I am so excited. Yes! Okay, let me pull out these products and then we will talk about the products I chose. <laughs> Okie dokie, guys. Here we go. I think I have it set. We're hoping, we're hoping. Okay, so the first one was a red queen. This was a project graveyard. So basically something that was already in a project pan. You still got it hanging around. So I chose this. I can't remember what project pan. I've been doing project pan for so long, but I know that this has been in a project pan before um, because I remember wanting to wipe off the imprint of the bottom part of this. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number 02. So for this one, my goal is to use this 20 times. I don't care if I use one or the other, just stick to one. But it is that time of year. I'm actually wearing this today. I pulled it out to see just today and it just so happened to be sitting there. So I figured why not get 20 uses out of this one? I don't think I'll hit pan, <laughs> but at least 20 uses out of this one. So that's my goal for that. For the three of spades, I got a duochrome or multi-chrome. So excited. This is that time of year where I like to do that one and done shadow. I had to pull this in. This is the Sydney Grace Phoenix, which is the one that I named. I love this one so much and it's that time of year where I can get some use out of it. Look at that thing. See that? Shifting to purple, to that gold, green, pink. It's just so pretty, so, so, so pretty. So my goal for this one is to use this one 10 times. So 20 times for the first product, 10 times for the second product. Then the next card we got was the Red King and that's an oldest product. Obviously it can be the oldest product in general or the oldest product in a specific category. So I went for the oldest product in a specific category. My oldest brow gel is this Alme one. Let me tell you, for this being under $10, this sucker has lasted me close to two years. It is starting to die down a little bit, but I don't think it will die down that much. My goal, because I don't know how much more I have, this is the endless bottomless product ever. I'm gonna put the goal of 30 uses for this one. This is my oldest product, 30 uses. So that's what I'm doing with this one. Okay, six of diamonds was dethroned. This one was rather hard, as you guys know. Once I don't like something, I don't repurchase it. I just like what I have. And most of the times I use things up before I try something new when it comes to most products. But I do have something that I dethroned and I haven't gotten much use out of it lately, but I do want to get more use out of it. So for this Six of Diamonds Dethrone, we're gonna bring in Bite Beauty Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy. 
as we all have heard, Bite Beauty is also going out of business. I have a feeling, I, I'm, I'm starting to see a trend of, of brands leaving and I'm having my own speculations and I'll keep to myself, but I have a feeling I'm like, hmm, I, there might be a reason why. I don't think necessarily it's for financial reasons. I think it's other reasons, but that's for another video. Anyway, so this is what this one's looking like. My goal is to use this 20 times. This is going to last me a lifetime. <laughs> the reason why this is dethroned, you guys, is because I have found better lip masks, one of them being the Ilia lip mask. I prefer that one over this one. Um, but this one's still okay. So 20 uses for this one since this time of year, I don't really need anything nourishing, but it's good to put it on at night. So 20 uses for this one. And last but not least, it was the Black Queen that was Project Graveyard. So for Project Graveyard, I it, this could fall under quite a few categories. Uh, project pans. Uh, this one can fall under partners in cream, but I already did that one. So there is a product project going around that some people do. It's called the lip lipstick service, lip service project pan, where you pick a bunch of lipsticks and you meet your goals on. I forget what it's called. If I can remember it, I'll put it on the screen, but it's all about lip products. Basically a lot, your lipsticks, local lipsticks, so on and so forth. So I'm bringing this in. This is the Shantikai Beach Rose Lip Tint. So this is how much is in here, you guys. My goal is actually to finish this off, you guys. I know. But if you look at it, it should be rather easy for me to do. So I want to actually finish this off, not on my cheeks, but on thy lips. So I don't think I'll have an issue. This is a beautiful product for this time of year. I've mentioned this already now twice. This is my third time. You guys know I am going into my busy season for me in the next month and a half. So this is going to be something perfect so I could just throw on my lips and go about my day if I'm not wearing a lip gloss. So I think that's my hardest goal I've done in this project pan. Um, I like to have things rotating in this project pan. So that's why I don't have finished goals in this one necessarily. But I think for that one, I do want to finish that one off. All right, you guys. So recap, I have my five products. We had a great round. I vetoed one. I did not want to work on a bronzer. You guys, if you know, I'm working on a bronzer in my pan, that face palette. And that one is giving me a hard time. So I really want to concentrate on that one. Now that I already broke the one in this one. <laughs> And I wasn't about to bring another bronzer in. So I'm glad that I was able to veto that out. And I'm back down to five products instead of having six products, even though I met all my goals, you guys. Wow. Again, I don't think this is going to happen for quite a bit because uh, summer is coming. I don't wear as much makeup, <sighs> but I'm excited because the products that I'm choosing now, I think are going to work well for this time of year. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out anyone else in this project pan. The, the playlist is down in the description box. Anything you need to know is in the description box. More videos for you to enjoy. Thank you again. I'll see you then. Adios.